Good morning. My name is Rafael Espinar. I'm the chair of the Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing Committee. Today, the committee will be voting on two bills related to the bail bond industry. Proposed intro bill number 510B, a local law to amend the administrative code of the City of New York in relation to disclosures made by bail bondsmen. And proposed intro bill number 724A, a local law to amend the administrative code of the City of New York in relation to a consumer bill of rights. On May 2, 2018, the committee held a joint hearing with the Committee on Justice System, chaired by Councilmember Rory Lansman, to garner feedback on intro 510B and intro 724A. During the hearing, the committees heard testimony from the administration, advocates, and industry representatives, and their feedback and suggestions were incorporated into the final versions of the bill. The use of commercial bail bond agents is a unique practice that only exists in the U.S. and the Philippines, and along with cash bail. It is the most common form of securing release in New York City. While data is scarce, it is estimated that approximately 11,000 New Yorkers use commercial bail bonds each year. As a for-profit business, bail bond companies charge a fee for securing the bond, but state law limits amount, the amount that agents can charge for this premium, generally around 10% of the bail amount. While state law specifically prohibits the charging of additional fees, many bail bond companies circumvent these laws and charge illegal fees. Recently, the Department of Consumer Affairs filed an action against bail bond company Marvin Morgan for using these illegal tactics. Marvin Morgan has been illegally charging extra fees designed to look like add-on services and failed to return collateral to consumers. They also did not provide consumers with copies of their bond paperwork and provided misleading or inaccurate receipts. While state law governs the licensing of bail bond agents, the city is empowered to advance legislation to protect consumers. Today's two bills aim to do that. The Speaker's Bill, intro 724A, creates a consumer bill of rights to be produced by DCA. This document will provide bail bond customers with clear information on how the bail bond process operates, the maximum amount that can legally be charged, and how to make a complaint if the bond agent is charging illegal fees. The Consumer Bill of Rights will also stipulate that the consumer has a right to negotiate the contract and that the contract will need to specify the conditions under which collateral can be returned. Prior to signing a contract, the consumer must sign a copy of the Consumer Bill of Rights and copies must be maintained by the bail bond agent for five years. Councilmember Lansman's bill, intro 510B, requires bail bond agents to post signage that outlines the maximum premiums and compensation that can be legally charged and stipulates that the, cons that the customer must sign a Consumer Bill of Rights prior to entering into a contract. The pretrial experience is a particularly stressful time for the defendant and their loved ones, and securing a bail bond can be easily burdensome, especially burdensome. The urge to do whatever necessary to secure the release of the defendant makes these consumers particularly vulnerable to predatory and deceptive practices from bail bond agents. However, upon passing these two bills today, we will ensure to bring greater protections and transparency to the process. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the members of, of uh, my committee who have joined us. We have Councilmember Brad Lander, Councilmember Margaret Chin, and, Car and Councilmember um, Karen Koslowitz. So with that said, uh, I urge my colleagues to uh, vote yes. Can you call the roll? Will you Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote on Committee on Consumer Affairs. Items are coupled. Chair Espinal. I vote aye. Chin. Aye and all. Kozlowitz. I vote aye. Lander. Uh, vote aye, and I request to be added as a sponsor onto both of these two strong pieces of legislation. I vote a four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Um. <laughs> Meeting is adjourned.